Storm surge is quite literally a surge of water being pushed ashore by the force of a storm's wind. In many cases, storm surge is more dangerous because of the power of the moving water and the coastal flooding potential it brings. One to three feet of water can knock you off your feet and stall your car. Above three feet, that water can actually carry a car away. If someone's still home when the water gets up to six feet, people in the home would have to seek higher ground, like a second story or roof. A 12-foot surge would fill the entire first floor of homes and potentially knock them off their foundation. The power of water on display last year during Hurricane Ian, one of the first storms with such well-documented surge video, cameras deployed for meteorologists and storm chasers who fled before water rose to a record-breaking 13.8 feet on Fort Myers Beach, leaving behind catastrophic damage on the Barrier Island and in much of Southwest Florida. This storm is taking a different approach. The area of most concern is Apalachee Bay, a part of the coast that is less populated, but very vulnerable to flooding from the Gulf. The storm is forecast to track right into the bay, and since records began, no major hurricanes have hit this part of Florida. To the right or east of the path, the Hurricane Center is warning of a potential surge 10 to 15 feet high, and in Cedar Key, it's estimated 98% of residents have already evacuated. The National Weather Service in Tallahassee putting out this dire message today, warning there is no comparison to other storms in this part of Florida, major hurricanes have gone west or east, but not into Appalachee Bay. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.